Greetings, this is part two of the video series. Um, we finished part one with installing the Beth Ini tool and configuring some options in the game. Now we will move on to Skyrim tools, but before we do that, I will open up Mod Organizer and just show you what's gonna happen now. We are going to start the game from Mod Organizer uh, from now on. So here it is, Mod Organizer and Skyrim Special Edition and I hit Run. A virtual file system is created and the game launches. So it works. We can launch the game now from Mod Organizer. But let's uh, focus on Skyrim tools now. So Skyrim tools download and extract the archive to a new folder somewhere, install the Java version needed. So, um, let's look at Java downloads, you will need it. I think you are fine if you download this one, JRE 8U131 Windows. You can also install both of them or just first install this one and then install this one. I think it's best to have both of them. I have them already installed so I proceed to the Skyrim Tools page. It's actually renamed to Folrim Tools so don't get confused. In the files we have four, uh, 294 beta and the file consists of, hmm, okay nothing is shown, let's download it. Folrim tools 294 beta, okay I will have it already in my installers here, okay let's download it. That's 16 and a half megabytes. Let's open up the archive. So that's the package. And uh, what does the author say about installation? Instructions. Unzip somewhere. Double click on Resaver Exe. Okay. So I already have this uh, installed. SSE Tools. It's here. So when you unzip it, you will get this here. We don't need to create no shortcut on the desktop because we will use only the Resaver Exe and we will use it only from Mod Organizer, but we will come to that later. So go back to our guide. Um, we have the Java. Well, actually you can run it just to check if it works with your Java. Just run it uh, like this. See it if, if it opens. It opens so it's uh, it's working fine. Don't do anything with this yet. Next up is the X Shadowman X DLL loader. Place the files in Skyrim SE main game directory. Let's see. Files. Download manually. I will already have it. It's called DLL loader. Yeah, that's the file. Open it up after downloading and put this dinput8 dll into your main game directory so into steam apps common skyrim special edition i can drag it over from 7-zip very convenient okay we're done with this step Next up is Achievements Mod Enabler. Install manually. 
Now close your mod organizer, get this file manually. And you will receive the file Achievements Mods Enabler 2451005. So let's see if I have it. Achievements Mod Enabler. Here it is. Open up the archive. And here we have a Plugins folder. So in another window, open up your main game folder. What do the guide says to place it in the data folder of your Skyrim SE? So go into data and drag the plugins over here. Now, if you see this in your mod organizer once you open it again, I don't see it so well. It's another way of installation that I did before. If you see this and you open your overwrite folder, you will see there the plugins. Then please follow these instructions. Right click on overwrite, select create mod and uh, do, do as I mm, suggest here. In my case it's uh, it's installed now but so when I click on data I can see it the plugins here achievements mod enabler so it will work and it turns out that uh, this step is not needed next up we have loot open up the loot page download loot and loot you install um, just the prescribed way in your program files don't worry about that just don't use uh, loot on Skyrim special edition uh, by starting it uh, from your desktop we will start it from mod organizer that's important next up let's close the other cards uh, next up is uh, Vrybesh go to the Vrybesh page and choose Vrybesh 307 beta installer Rybash files and choose this one. Download it manually. You will get the file Vrybash beta installer exe. Uh, run the installer. Click on next to continue. And now important deselect any other games that it proposes to install for and choose only for Skyrim Special Edition and choose Vrybesh standalone. Confirm with my guide. Yes, that's it. Only for Skyrim SE. Click Next. Uh, start many shortcuts, we don't need that. Show details. Next. Please select which Rybrush installations, if any, you would like to run right now. None. Close. OK. And now we come to the point where we will configure Mod Organizer to uh, for the tools that we just installed to be uh, started from Mod Organizer. We will do it in Mod Organizer. So let's fire up Mod Organizer. And here's the thing now that we will configure. So we have Skyrim Special Edition. We have already loot detected here. So we can run loot from Mod Organizer. Let's do a test run. You can see. You can sort plugins by clicking here so it it's working now let's configure the other tools so click on this drop down list here edit now search for binary go to your skyrim special edition folder 
go into Mopi where you have Vrybash and select Vrybash and give a title Vrybash and click on add and close and now we have Vrybash here so we can also select Vrybash from the drop down list and add it to this toolbar here we do the same for loot shortcut toolbar what else have we got SSE edit very important so edit again from the drop down list search for binary go to the place where we have the tools SSE edit 32 or 3.2 rather SSE edit exe open name it SSE edit and add and close now drop down list shortcut toolbar now we have three of them we have to do the resaver still okay so drop down list edit again search for binary go to SSE tools resaver exe open and name it resaver that's from the following tools and click on add and finally short um, check it uh, choose it from the drop down list shortcut toolbar is there anything else we have loot Vrybash, SSE edit and resaver loot Vrybash, SSE edit resaver so that's it before you make changes to the game you will from now on start the game from mod organizer 2 start the game from mod organizer start a new game finish the intro sequence in Helgen um, or so your hands are unbound to speed up things you can uh, use the skip uh, the intro save file so let's open up the page it's on the nexus there is a file here download it manually but when downloading this save file don't download it to the location uh, which we set up previously in mod organizer mo installers don't download anything in there yet it's important this is only for the mods that we will install with mod organizer so we have the file skip the intro let's open it and here is a game save we will copy it into the my games documents my games skyrim special edition saves this is a save file after the intro sequence and i will put it here and then i will go back to my mod organizer and I will run the game so I will show you this uh, save that we downloaded as you can see now we have an op option to load a game and here we have in the prisoner that's the name of this character Skyrim load Yeah. All right. Let's take Kajit and done. Okay, name for our character Tuko Tester. All right. You with one of the trade caravans, Kajit? Their kind always seems to find trouble. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your men are turned to elsewhere. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Okay, and now this uh, lengthy sentence 
is gonna go through we can save the game again and quit for now the guide says to save in a new slot after your hands are unbound and I strongly advise to do it go through the intro sentence escape from the dragon and uh, get into the dungeon where your hands get unbound then save the game for further testing all right now after adding uh, more and more mods when you see this loot order rebuild bash patch and test game you have to well uh, run loot sort plugins and do this stuff and rebuild the bash patch and here i made a little sample video of uh, how uh, what is the general procedure to do it so thank you for watching part 2. In part 3 we are starting to install the mods. See you in the next videos.